All right, box, <laughs> box number two. Here we go. We'll see how we do on this one. So first box, a little recap. Box one contained three fetches, Blood Moon, Damnation, Cavern of Souls, and then unfortunately a Domri and a... Uh, I don't even remember the other one. It was very forgettable. What was it? The last mythic? Yeah. It's Domri and something. Oh, oh Sphinx is Rev. Yeah, Sphinx is Rev. So we didn't see a single Mile of the Old Corosa. We didn't see a single, a single Serum Visions in the Uncommon slot. So hopefully that was just a weird box. Oh, there's the there's the mythic right there. It's, this one? Uh, no, this one. That's that's the mythic. This yeah, the that'll mythic. be the first one. It was a yeah. very strange box to see like that. I don't I don't quite understand how you can't have any of the uncommons of a, of in any of the slots. Oh, hey, look, foil uh, miracle it looks like thunderous wrath. Yeah. Starting off decent. All right, so we got a bomber. That's cool. Vampire aristocrat. Get our guild. We're just gonna skip through the guild gates. We all remember dragons. You say maze. bomber on camera. <laughs> well, we're not taking this on a plane, so. <laughs> oh, that was a Ben Stiller reference. Morori, and it's oh, it's a blue. Whatever it is, it's blue for the rare slot. Fantasmal. Vincer. Nope. Oh, oh, it's got nothing. Blue. Nothing. Oh. Ah, it's hey, iconic. Rift. There we go. That's that's okay. Starting off pretty good. We all needed an EDH, right? <laughs> the reprint. <laughs> not that you need it, but that you deserve. Man it. You deserve. It's the most played card other than Soul Ring. All right, so what are we thinking for our Mythic slots? Let me keep that out. So a little bit of value there already. Ghost Quarters, is it? Is it Mythic? <laughs> no? I feel like it okay. should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so not Ghost Quarters. Probably going to see maybe maybe a Lily in this box. A Lily would be great. It's Savage oh. Lands. The last yeah. box was Savage. This box. Oh, Mythic straight off the bat. It's got a power and toughness of three. Mm. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. What uh, is that? That's uh. It's gotta it's be not something. Domery. No, yeah. no, it's definitely not Domery. <laughs> it's red and black. What was that? Red and black. Three, Can't be good. Three. Let's find it out. Olivia, uh, that's yeah, actually right. pretty alright. Right. That's what she's what. Fifteen bucks right now. Twelve bucks. Mm -hmm. Ten bucks. Mm -hmm. Voice gets higher the lower it gets. So don't, so don't get played in uh, dragon fodder. The reprint we all needed. So first mythic slot, at least it was better than Sphinx's Rev. We're off to a better start than that. All right, pack two. So we're at uh, we're at uh, <clears throat> ten dollars of value, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Still, though, the last box, even with all the bad stuff that came out of it, it ended up being um, quite a good box actually. I'm really hoping to see Mites and Serum Visions. Those are two uncommons we need quite a lot of. And we only got one path last box too. Spell Pierce, always good. Which Signet, wall. Build a wall. Rare. Blue. Yoink. Ah, Get safe. Gifts. Fun. Those were given. They they are. They're oozing their way through to your hand. That wasn't very good. I'll take that one back. Oh. <laughs> Aether Toe. Spike Jester. We've seen a lot of Spike Jesters. He's a funny guy. He's he's not bad. Guild Gates. We, we got it. <laughs> it's been a rusing. Goblin Assault. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's a rare and it's uh -oh. a 1 1. Noble Hierarch. No, uh, right. oh, oh. no, <laughs> no that's not Noble Hierarch. <laughs> hey, no. Foil Tree. Not bad. Foils are great in this set. They really are nice. Tokens aren't that bad. Moon Wall Tracker. That's from Innistrad, right? Yeah. One of those sets. It should have stayed in a strat. <laughs> unfortunate. But limited, Joe. It's true. Limited is a is a thing. Oh, there we go. The lone, lone missionary, missionary has a crippling chill for his dying. We're gonna skip that one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I thought that was gonna be funny, and it ended up being. Uh... Hey, putrefy. And rare three three. It's gonna be bad. Oh, yeah. It's, I don't even know what that card is. Oh, Wart. goodness. Wart. I mean, the people raid mother. love to play that in EDH. You know, <laughs> instead of Omnath or something good. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> Attended Knight and the Seagate Oracle met at the Golgari Guild Gate with the Rotworm. Uh, done. That's done. They never, they never match up for the story. 
And Opportunity says a rare behind it. Damnation. No, hey, Marsh Marsh Flats. Flats. Hey, all right. Now you just need three more to make a place of it. Three more. We'll get there. We're going to keep on going. Oh, I see the foil on the back is uh, a signet. Those are Ooh. always good foils. It's really, again, the foils have been really good on all the art and new sets they picked. Be great in a Loro. I'm, uh, I'm actually really happy with the foiling. Guild Gates. Never happy to see those. Reminds me when I got uh, mazes ended in standard and it just <laughs> felt really bad. Harmonize, and we have a rare slot, 3-3 three, three again. There's another, it's a Hellrider. Oh, hell rider. At least it wasn't Ward again, that one. <laughs> Man, that I remember one. playing with that guy back in the day. Just every other every other pack is Ward. I'm like, no, stop it. Okay, Guild Gates, Spectacles, and Troopers, and a Spider. This is a great card, I love Delirium Skeens. That is really fun. Good old hand lockout in Commander. So we're looking for some good uncommons this time. Oh, those are unfortunate. And a rare. Hey, Basilisk Oh, Collar. look yeah. at there. People looks love like, that looks like my puppy. It's my puppy. It's a, it's a pit, kind of. Oh, every time I see this, I'm like, sweet <laughs> Look at that Mark. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So still, though, the rare so far, we're at about uh, 45 bucks, and we have done a third of the box. I mean, like, Basilisk Collar's worth a little bit. Yeah, that was counting that in there. Oh, ooh, yeah, you're <laughs> yeah. right. We've had a Marsh ooh. Flat and a really bad, uh, really bad Mythic, unfortunately. But that being said, I think this box, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling groovy. I feel like we're going to have a really, really good rest of the box. Is it Charm? That was a fun one to have. Intangible uh, Virtue. They reprinted that And then Rare... Fetch land. Oh, Abrupt Decay. Abrupt Decay. We'll take that. And a Foil Flicker Wisp. Ooh. The other thing, too, is just like in Eternal Masters, so far in the set we've seen, the foil slots have been really good. There's a lot of value in the foil slots for modern players. And you can't counter Abrupt Decay. That is also true. you can exile true. it off the stack. That is, so. that is also true. <laughs> you are not wrong. When that happens, too, you're like, oh, man. It just feels bad, man. And Madcap is going to be an Oh, there, there we go. go. Might. Might. The art looks sweet, too. Yeah. I really like the art. Is it a pony, or what is that? Oh, uh, Lightning like Souls. Cin Centaur with, uh, he's got uh, wheat uh, hook things. Scythe? Scythe. That's, Scythe. that's the word I'm looking yeah, for. Rare. Please be a fetch land. Summoning Trap. That's actually, oh. okay, that's a fun card. And we got a foil common. I'm not going to forget that we could have a, a rare in that slot, so I'm going to you know, hype it up a little bit. You know, do, the, do the reveal. Because last time I was like, oh, <laughs> we got this one. Great. Call the Conclave and a Guild Gate and a Zombie. We have Strengths in Numbers with their Delirium Skins and their skills path? with their Eyes in the Sky. Get a Path? Maybe. Path would be great. Signet would be great. Yeah. yeah, no. And then Mythic. Ooh, Mythic. And there's nothing on the bottom. Hmm. Uh, z uh, what is that? Something bad. Something bad. No, no uh, it's, uh, it's uh, Bonfire of the Dam. It's white. Oh. White has good mythics, doesn't it? Linvala! No, it has to have power toughness. What's the, uh, there's only two, right? What's the other one? Entreat the Angels. Uh. Oh, oh, no! It's a me! Entreat the Angels! <laughs> oh, no. This is what you don't want to see. So we got Entreat the Angels and Olivia. Oh, that's that puts a damper on the mood right now. And a Marsh Flat. All great for Q. <clears throat> Super great for Q. <laughs> And a web. So far, I'm, I'm just enjoying opening these, though. These have been an absolute blast to open. And even though, even though these aren't looking so great, Seaside Citadel, I love these uncommon slots. We're getting a ton of these. The value is still here. Rare. <laughs> this card has a lot of history. Uh, it has a lot of history. Oh, uh, yeah. There's that gentleman who tried to do the buyout of them and told people he'd pay them money to destroy their seances because he wanted this to be a modern staple, and it just it didn't work so good for him. God, every time. Every time. That's just such a such a tease. All right. This is the one. It's hard to open. It's brittle. We like it. That's the Tarmogoyf. Now, Tarmogoyf, for days. he got reprinted at uh, Rare, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. He's a rare rare spot Goyf. Uh, we haven't seen one in the other box, so it just means he's a 
rare or rare. So oh. there's some sort of term for that. Uh, super rare. Super, ultra super rare. rare. Ultra Epic? rare. Uh, oh, no, it's secret. It's a secret, secret rare. rare. Yeah. Yeah. Secret rare. Fiery justice. <laughs> uh. Hey, Wooly Fokhtar. I actually have that FNM promo, which is, you know, foil as well. I, thanks. It was the only time I ever won, so I got to remember it. Oh, all right. What do we have here? I think the last one's going to actually be voice. I just have a feeling. So it, I don't know what the mythic's going to be. I don't care as long as it's not Domri or Bonfire. If it's Bonfire, I'm just going to turn the camera off and walk away. Hey, Inquisition. That's a, Also, that's the first Inquisition we've seen out of two boxes. So the uncommon slots, it seems like there are a lot of chase uncommons right now. I think there are a lot more uncommons than there are And a rares. rare Extractor Demon and common. Attended night. Oh. So we have this many packs left. Uh, Ten packs. And we have not seen our last mythic slot or a foil rare slot. So and hopefully we'll get something really nice in those. We've only seen one fetch so far. I would have said if you're just tuning in, but I forgot this is going on YouTube. So YouTube is not like uh, you, you can't just watch the they whole thing. They just skip to the... Yeah. They skip to that exact part. They're like, oh, well, thanks for, thanks for the update. Hey, Mite. That's two mites this box. That's good. Yeah. I mean, I think the so odds... Rare. Oh, God, it's a 2-2. Uh -oh. Vincer. Vincer! What's up, buddy? And a common Lancer. Uh, I think the odds of these, like, last nine packs having at least 15 cards in them, 100%. You know, that's an excellent observation. Um, I think you're right. What would be really cool here is to see the rest of the value from the box, because really we're sitting, I'd say, short of $100 right now. Uh, I'd like to see the value get there. You know, if you don't... The joy is really in opening the packs. I know opening packs, you're automatically gambling on it, but man, the gamble's fun. And there's there a path. Our uncommons have been great this box. And a rare, Stony Silence, and a foil rare. Here we go. Psychonic uh. Rift. That's better than the last one for sure. Psychonic Rift. What is, it? what is that one worth? Let's look that one up. Uh, RTR was like 10, 15. Really? Awesome. That one's five. That's pretty good. That's pretty good indeed. All right. Shannon. Okay. Mizzy Mortar. Hey, they're like buddies. And a Falcon Reef Noble. Oh, that's cool. I thought that was a worm for a second, the way it was looking. You know, that Mizzy Mortar's are actually looks a lot more crisp now. I'm not, I'm not sure why. The Inking looks darker, honestly. Yeah, um, I guess Noah Bradley just got it together. There we go. We are spell slingers now. I like it. I'm a wizard. Harry? Can we say that? Are they going to DMCA us for that? Uh, I don't think you're good. You're a wizard, Larry. There you go. <laughs> just change up a little bit. All right. So what do you think our last mythic is going to be? It's going to be a voice. A voice? There's uh, Terminate. I love that new slots, art, right? Our uncommon slots have really got there. Oh, blue green. Uh, Misty, right? Misty, right? Oh, who is that? Uh, that is uh, Sun Titan. Is it? Yeah. Uh, because it says, all suns must set. Could just be like his brother or nope. something. That's <laughs> not Larry. Here we go. Misty, hey, look at that call go. shot. You, you, you didn't call Misty. No, you did. No, no I, well, I mean, it's very obvious when it's blue and green on the bottom. It what could have been... A, a guild gate and a rare slot. I was going to... Uh, the prom speaker or whatever her name is. The prom? She went to prom? Yeah. Before oh, Void, ooh, void slot. Oh, God, that would be... I would cry a little bit. I would think, Shut it down. Pitfalls, augers, and signets. Oh, ooh, we needed that card. And is this Bronze our mythic? Bigla? Oh, it's a zero, 0 Is that Evil Twin, or is it... It's Evil That's Twin. Evil Twin. Oh, goodness. Graceful reprieve. Well, with the Misty and the Foil Cyclonic, we're over $100, so... And our, uncom our uncommons have actually been really, really good, so... I'd say we're probably sitting at about about 150 or so. Uh, that's how mythic. many uh, Pokemon there were in the, in the beginning, isn't it? Wasn't there 151 with little Mew? Yeah, there's 151. <laughs> like you could get Mew. You, you had to get a, a program in your Game Boy cartridge, didn't you? Seaside Citadel? Yeah, there was a glitch you could do. Path to Exile. This oh, is our two. This for two. two yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Mythic. Oh. Multicolored. <laughs> oh, Cavern. Is it Cavern? Uh, oh! Hey! We're back! And crippling chill. This is okay. So four packs left. Three more, and we'll have one more fetch. Out. And we actually, again, we're doing good. I think if three fetches per box holds true, you really can't go that bad. Even if you get the lowest value ones, that's still a hundred dollars at least. And I'll be surprised if the prices stay that low for long. 
they're basically at their historic low since they normalized. That's pretty cool art. That chick coming out of the tree, that's really cool. Populate. Inquisition. Oh, second. Our, so our uncommon's yeah. are great. Maybe that other box is just an anomaly. Guys, Anthem. Flicker, we got a ton of these. That's great. And a rare. <laughs> that's two of those. <laughs> Double <laughs> seance. <laughs> Maybe they're saying something. Right? Is that what saying something? Yeah, uh, I believe it's saying this box is bad. This box is One more fetch and we are we are doing all right. Say one more fetch and it puts it right at box value. I think so. We'll recap it. Oh, I get maybe. I kind of piled everything. Do you want to start getting our value into a pile? Oh, uh, yeah. Rewind. Now we're just kind of flying through these. We've all seen these cards. I know you guys just want to see the good stuff. And this one's going to be a rare. We weren't surprised about that. Still Angel. That's always fun. Two backs left. One of these has to be a fetch. I'm going to go... Squeeze. Oh, yeah, the Wham, right? Yeah. I think I think this one has a foil in it. I'm gonna open that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't want to disappoint, but I think you're right. So we just got good at weighing these uh, modern masters packs now. Which one has the foils in them? So you got you gotta know this stuff. It's a trick of the trade. I'm sure someone's gonna leave a comment and go, "You weigh packs? They all have foils." <laughs> it's like, yes, they do. Yeah. Okay, and we're gonna see another rare fetch land. Hey, Marsh Flats. Hey. Hey, we almost have a playset out of two boxes. Yeah. So that was two Marsh Flats in this box, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Huh. And a Misty. And a Misty. So that's uh, three for per box. Yeah. So like three for so two point six. We're just getting the we're getting the rounded up two point six. I think that's three. Full Vampire Nighthawk called right now. It's happening. This one. Last pack, let's see if we can get there in value. There's still a ton of good rares. A fourth fetch would really set this thing above and beyond. Because I think we're sitting pretty close to value right now. Uncommon, uncommon. It's a rare. It's a 4-1, multicolored. That doesn't seem like it's going to be great. Oh, it's uh, it's uh, the, the Falcon Wraith Aristocrat. Oh, <laughs> it is. And ending on that note. And a foil common, rewind. So let's take a look at what we got out of this box. I hand me the stack of good stuff. Well, we know yeah. we have tons of uncommon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our good stuff? Yeah, yeah. It's just, most of it's uh, in here somewhere. So we're just going to do rough estimates on this just so we can get it out quick. Uh, we're going to skip that one. <laughs> so $2, I don't know, $1, $3, $33, $35, $38, $40, $45, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000,